Infidelity has become a constant problem in marriages and relationships and we are seeing how things are even getting out of hands. It has led to murder cases in relationships and marriage. Welcome to Let's Talk Love KE. I'm your host Kavagi Lavenda and, we, and with me here today is our very own Dr. Love Professor Haman Manyora. Prof, welcome to the show. Thank you Lavenda. How are you doing? Wonderful. Well Prof, today I wanted us to talk about infidelity and it's a good thing because about a month ago we saw in the media media houses like citizen tv did statistics on people on marriages in the country and they saw how infidelity has become a big problem we saw how there was a high percentage of men we have about men a man can have three to five women and he can have that sexual relationship with three to five women and we also saw that women can have two men, sexual relationship with two men, more than two men. Okay. And we saw how Muranga County led, women in Muranga <laughs> County led, <laughs> and we also saw Narok, men in Narok County okay. led in that statistics. So well, Prof, my, my first question is, is polygamy really justified? Man has been polygamous for as long as we can remember. Mm -hmm. But the world has changed and some people say has moved on. Yes. Uh, although there remains communities which still practice uh, polygamy, but they, they are becoming fewer and fewer by the day. Mm. Because the world is changing. Yes. People are changing. Mm -hmm. And the realities of the world, including the cost of living. Yeah. So they are, it is there, but it's dying now. It's dying. So we are seeing now we are, we, are, we are having situations where even women have more men. Yes. And my question is, Prof, do you think that this is the right lead that we should be taking? Because you see, obviously, if you are having a relationship with more than one or two people, obviously, there is someone they are getting hurt. Either if it's a man and has two wives or two women in a relationship or marriage, you can't tell me that, obviously, a hundred percent they are okay a hundred percent obviously there's someone they are getting hurt someone they are feeling underloved someone they are feeling overloved and do you think that's the right path for us to take you know we need to separate polygamy from just affairs and mm -hmm. i think that research was about people having affairs okay uh in terms of women having more than one i think is only to the best of my knowledge is only south africa mm. which has allowed polyandry situations where you can marry more than one man I don't know of another country. I think I know of South Africa. Mm -hmm. And it's a recent development. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of just affairs, certainly because of uh, years of uh, uh, patriotic, what do you call it? Patriarchal society, men are assumed to be freer to have other affairs, either by marrying more than one wife or by having more than one affair society kind of doesn't see something wrong with that in many societies but a woman is supposed to remain completely pure in marriage or in a relationship with the fidelity to their spouse or partner uh, so yes again just like polygamy uh, this is now driving in the opposite direction mm. as polygamy is on the decline Infidelities, on the other hand, it is. So it is like we have come to a point where now, if you are a man, it's very unfortunate. It seems like if you are a man and you want to keep a wife, you have to close one eye, sometimes both. If every time you, if you pounced on your wife having an affair with a man and you say, go home, you may end up a bachelor. It's, yes. it's, it's unfortunate, but it seems to be that's where we are getting. We are paying for what we call civilization. Okay. That the more civilized we become, the more westernized we become, the more freer we are. Women want to be left to do, don't, don't crowd my space. You know, and, and, and you know, that's, that we are paying for it. Well, when, when you've just said about the Western culture, we are evolving as a kind. As, in the world, actually, we are yes. evolving, right? Yes. So, 
today they are very funny funny characters in marriages in relationship like in today's relationship you hear people saying that they want open relationship yes. where the man is allowed to have other women and also the women the woman is allowed to have other men do you think that's that's a little bit fair from polygamy that, that is that is this is the rubbish i'm talking about okay. especially i've seen it open marriage mm. and uh, I used to stay in Kakameka many years ago. There was a community from Europe that was there. They had what they call club day. A club day, you went to the club with your wife and you, and you, you, you hook up with somebody, she hooks up with somebody. The competition is on who between you gets home first to occupy the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. That is the, you want to beat your husband to it and he wants to beat you to it. And now this nonsense of open marriage, I think marriage is supposed to be something pure and holy. It's not something you want to play around with. You cannot talk about a married woman being free to bring anybody in the home or go out with anybody. And the wife, husband can go out. Each of you know what the other is doing. That you are calling it open marriage. This, you cannot play with marriage like that. Marriage is something that is serious. Marriage is a covenant between two people to spend all their life together. And in any case, people must also know, intimacy is not a laughing matter. You don't just want to be intimate with just about anybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you get to have another partner in, a, in your marriage, what does that speak of you and your relationship with your husband or your wife? I don't, I don't think much as society sometimes sanction polygamy and male being free. I think look at it in terms of even the disease today, disease rate today, diseases today. Yeah. Not just not just HIV AIDS, but just even now we say in Nairobi there's what? Super gonorrhea. gonorrhea. Can you imagine a situation? <laughs> you now go out with another man and you come home and pop. You give your husband super gonorrhea. You can imagine what. But don't you think this perception of man, men are polygamous is the one that is leading to all this fracas? Because you see, you find a man, like in today's, in today's culture, it, polygamy is not right, especially in the Christian religion. They believe in a man being married to one wife. Yes. You get a man has been married to one wife, but the man is still having other side chicks, or whatever nowadays they call it sneaky links you see uh, so a man is married to a one wife but but the, he still sees other people outside marriage so that's why i was asking don't you think maybe polygamy maybe should also come in there because i feel like instead of a woman being a side chick to someone why don't they make that lady the second wife yeah but part of the reason why polygamy was practiced was exactly what you are saying mm -hmm. There were many reasons. Yeah. A man needed many wives because of taking care of the animals, tilling the land and so on and so forth. You needed many children. Mortality rate was so high that out of five children you get, maybe only one will survive. So one wife would not give you enough children and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But there are also issues of the reality of there being more women at any one time than men. Mm. The issues of widows. Because society was always in flux. Society was always in upheavals, in wars and things of that nature. Yeah. And the man was always on the receiving end. And there were always fewer men, that, just like today, than, than women. So polygamy was to address that in some reason. So you are right, there are people who are saying, surely, since we know a man will always have another girl outside or two, why can't they just come home? Mm. And there are people, I, I saw a clip doing the round, a woman is doing interviews for, 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 for the wife, her husband to marry another I think third wife, you know, but it's not as easy as that. Yeah, that uh, another thing you see about polygamy and men going out. We are basically animals, okay. Mm -hmm. But the sense of civilization, the onset of the rational man, is that we must constrain certain animal instincts, you know. And so, man is by nature polygamous. This is biological. For the perpetuation of the species, a man is supposed to be promiscuous, if you wish, polygamous, have multiple partners. That you can see in the animal kingdom. Mm 
Mm -hmm. That you can see from my biological point of view. One egg produced by a woman vis-a-vis -vis millions of sperms. Mm -hmm. So by nature, so that the species can perpetuate itself, so that the, 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 the animal itself, may be, the, the lion may reproduce itself, so that we may continue having lions. It is in the order of nature that the male lion should, you know, uh, but we are now, we are not animals, we are moving away from, we are human beings. Yes. So we need to tame that. And one way, perhaps, like we are suggesting, is people to, and our constitution in this country is aware of that. And that's why it is legal in this country to have more than one wife, yeah. at least for the purpose of polygamy. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether we shall get to South Africa stage of polyandry. Well, Prof, as we wind up, we are seeing that it seems like one can never can never get enough of something. There was polygamy and it still brought problems. Now they brought a man should have one wife and there is still more problems. Yes. What would be your what would you like to tell people who are facing infidelity in their marriages? What would, how do you think they should handle that in their marriage? If you ask anybody who a woman who has strayed out and had an affair, mm -hmm. I'm telling you they all regret it. It's never worth it. Mm -hmm. You know what I tell people? Maybe I may not be the right person to say it, but what I tell people is fluctuations are normal. It's normal for a woman to see a man and admire that man. It's normal for a man to see a woman and admire. This is normal. In yeah. fact, if you don't do that, you are not normal. Okay. If you spend the whole day, the whole week in the office, and nobody has touched you somewhere as a lady, you have not flirted with somebody, mm -hmm. then you are not normal. But that doesn't mean it must end up in bed. Then you are an animal. Because an animal will follow the instincts. So we only tell people it is it is it is not the best of things. And people who have done it, especially women, if you are to ask them, they will they regret ever doing it. Yes. And a good number of them will never try the second time. It's not worth it. It's the excitement you thought you'll get is not there. The shame, the embarrassment, as you cover your blanket with your husband at night. That thing is in your mind. It is eating, knowing at you. It's not worth it. Yes. Just remain faithful to your husband, remain faithful to your wife, knowing very well that admiring someone else of the opposite sex is no more. But taking them to bed is following your instinct like an animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we've come to the show. Thank you for staying tuned till the end. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please kindly subscribe. And we would also like to interact with you and you can tell us what you think about the infidelity on the comment section i was your host kavagi lavenda have a blessed week